Hello and welcome. In this lesson, we'll paint autumn leaves. So grab your paints, your brushes, and paper, and let's get started. Remember to pull up the reference images from the Pinterest board and keep those on hand if it helps. For this video, I'll be doing three different styles of leaves. The first one is an oak leaf, and I'm starting with a very light wash and just putting in the shape of the leaf first. This is a light brown, a little bit of an orangey brown. I'm also dropping in a light shade of green into some of the areas because most of the leaves that have fallen have a mixture of orange and green and brown. All right, so we'll let that dry. And then for the middle leaf, I'm starting with a light green and putting in the first base layer. There are five main vein lines that coming off that center stem. And then I'm just using the end of the brush to roughly put in little jagged edges for each side of this leaf. For this leaf, I'm doing a light green to start and then I'll be building up the layers as we go. Okay, so we'll let that one dry. And then the last one is a yellow leaf. And it's just your basic leaf shape and I'm just putting in that first layer, just like the others. Once you're happy with the main shape, you can go in and add in some extra colors. I'm using this orangey brown and dropping in a little bit around the edges and the bottom and just a little bit through the middle. And then I'll let that just naturally bleed and blend on its own. Okay, so make sure that the first layers are totally dry and then we can add in our darker colors. I'm starting with a green. And then I'm dropping that same green color throughout parts of the leaf and then rinsing my brush. I'll use a clean, damp brush and blend out some of those edges. All right, and then picking up a little orange. Wherever I did not put the green, I'm dropping in that orange and then it will mix on its own because both colors are pretty wet still. And then I'm also dropping a little bit of brown, just speckled right through, and then letting that all mix up together. Okay, onto the middle leaf. I'm adding in the next layer. It's a warmer orange color to start. And I'm dropping in a little deeper orange as well, not in every single area, just in some of them. That way I can keep on building different colors and having a nice layered effect with all of the different colors that I layer on. Okay, and for some more darker browns, I'll start by putting in those lines. It's a bit wet, so they're going to blend out pretty quickly, um, which is okay. You can always add more layers. And then go in with a little deeper brown around some of the edges. And then if you lose any of that green, you can always bring it back just by dropping them in the areas that you'd like. And you can also go in and add that line and vein area into the first leaf as well. If it's too wet, just come back to it when it's fully dry. All right, for the last leaf, you can add in a bit more yellow and build up that saturation. And then with the brown, I'm going in and adding a few texture lines right through the middle. All 
All right, so let all three of these leaves fully dry and we'll come back for the final layer. Okay, so for the middle leaf, now that it's fully dry, I'll go in and add a more orangey, reddish orange layer and really give it that autumn feel. This type of layering is called glazing. It's really just putting different translucent layers on top of each other. This is one of the reasons I really love watercolor because you can do this in watercolor and still have that translucent element where you can see parts of the color that were previous, it will still show through. All right, for the final leaf, I'm going in with a darker brown and just putting in a few more lines here. And then to the first leaf, also adding a few lines and a few more details. And again, back to glazing, I'm going in and adding that green right on top just to build up a little bit of that saturation. You can also speckle in some colors to give it some texture. Okay, and then a final pass of that dark brown just to bring out a few of these lines and little details. So add in your final touches and then we'll be done. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had so much fun painting. And if you recreate this and post online, remember to tag me. I'd love to see your work.